<laughs> it's never okay. too early for this. Well, I refresh myself with some 100% goodness and a little crush. You can prepare for some ingenious kitchen hacks. Morning, boy. How's it, Dad? How's the exams going? Um, 100%? 100% what? 100% uh, crush. 100% fruit. 100% goodness. Love by Clover. So now, if a recipe calls for eggs, butter, milk, or self-raising flour, and you don't have any of those ingredients in your pantry, you're going to find yourself in a pretty sticky situation. Well, we are going to show you just how easy it is to get yourself out of that sticky situation. So pay attention, 100%. Attention. Yeah, you, you look so proud of yourself. I right am. Now. You know what? I, was, I just had a thought in this moment. The show is absolutely, it's actually the coolest. Because 100%, dude. You can gym without gym equipment. We've got gym equipment hacks. And now you can make food without ingredients. Without food. Without food. Like, come on. Like, uh, what you else do you need? You actually need some food. <laughs> now, these are ingenious, ingenious ways because I think that's the worst thing. You get to that point, you're baking your, in this case, a beautiful banana yeah. loaf, and you're like, yes, oh, I, don't have, I don't have self raising flour. What am I going to do? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to take us through as you create the batter for our banana bread, which I'm really interested to taste now because we've made one already. Well, I say we loosely. Our amazing <laughs> kitchen team have made one already for us. Okay, so what's going on in there, bro? And what's also, I think at the start of lockdown, everybody was making a banana bread. It was oh, like yeah, the, the thing the start to do. The the, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> I actually, my, my granny taught me how to make a banana bread way back in the day. Oh, really? Is yeah, your banana so bread as good as your steak? No. <laughs> right, so. I've got a long way to go. <laughs> so what I'm busy with here, I'm creaming sugar and butter together. Right? Okay. This is the first process of my dry ingredient infusion. So we start with the dry ingredients and already the start of our hack. So if you don't have butter, and believe you me, butter's expensive, G. Yeah. I and mean, if you bought it some butter it's at the premium. store. Like, it's, it's a premium, it's a, yeah. pr it's a quality ingredient, I must say. So if you don't have butter at home, perfect substitute is of course you can use something like canola oil we oh, use wow, it in the studio okay. all the time this is something you can substitute with your you sugar need a, you need a fat that's what you need exactly that okay. so you get your lipids on in this dish cool, okay, and uh, i'm ready to move over to my next step all right so sticking to the wet ingredients once again i'm uh -huh. going to chuck in some eggs over here i've got two eggs which is normally the binding uh, in, uh, uh ingredient I guess for most of your dishes right but now what happens I had an extra big omelette for breakfast yeah. this morning I'm tired of the last <laughs> eggs and I'm just hearing from the kitchen Graham where are the eggs <laughs> What are you doing with the eggs? <laughs> I ate them. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sounds like I'm having a sleepover at your place again, yeah. But listen, G, so essentially, once again, we've got a hack for you here. So if you don't have eggs, boom, 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 you can use yourself some of this beautiful mayonnaise. Okay, so nice. this is going to act as your binding agent, of course. And we've got vegan um, mayonnaise options as well. Canola's coming through with some good stuff there. And uh, be well, too. So this is going to be an incredible um, a substitute, essentially. Okay. Brilliant. This. Okay. Now, we're moving over to the wet stuff, all right? We've got the dry stuff pretty much sorted out. I mean, we've got the wet, wet stuff, stuff sorted out. out. Moving to the dry, dry. stuff. Cool. Switch that. Um, now it's the fun part. So I'm going to be adding in the essentials like we would. So that's baking powder. Oh, yeah. I've got some cinnamon. And then nice. we've got oh, some Oh, that's going to add a nice depth to our banana bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then some self-raising flour. Now, if you don't have self-raising flour, what do don't you stress. Do? You can just use normal cake flour, of course, and then add in a teaspoon of self-raising flour or cake powder, essentially. Okay, and that's going to essentially cause food. the exact same process. Mix it up all together, and then you've got all the essentials that you what, need for your ingredients. What do you do if you don't have banana bread? <laughs> or banana <laughs> bread? Then you're making a loaf of bread. <laughs> you're, making, you're making Madeira cake. That's what you're doing. You're making Madeira cake. Right. I suppose you could use some, some essence. I don't know. You no. could try. I don't know. But use it. I mean, what I love about this, is because you can use those bananas that are starting to kind of get really ripe because their flavor intensity almost improves. Don't throw it away. Create it. Make, a, make something beautiful out of it. Banana loaf, 100% awesome. Ah, 100% I couldn't disagree with you there. Now, the best hack of the day. Okay. What if I ain't got milk? Because I was gum gum I drank the whole milk. Oh, you Baby, where's the milk? <laughs> Why is there no milk in the fridge? Jesus, Sorry. getting hectic in your house, Sorry. Sorry. Don't worry, G, I'm going to sort the household out. Peace has returned. And all we're going to do is substitute it with literally 
our hero ingredient. That's our clover crush over here, ah. using the apple variant. Again, you can use two, two tablespoons. It's, a, it's almost like a direct equivalent. So two big tablespoons of milk is going to equal two big tablespoons of your hero oh, ingredient over here. Oh, I'm going to go by the eye. Voila, that seems good to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea, but uh, yeah, yeah. as long as uh, you look the just pot. Just to bring it all together. Okay, yeah, man, cool, so as simple as that, we start mixing this through that together. That is very clever, man. I pop it into my little baking tray over here. Normally, uh, 180 for safety. I actually can't remember exactly what the temperature is. But you guys can find this on Espresso. No, it's, it's, it's always 180. It's always 180. It's always 180. 180. Don't be silly. <laughs> when you're baking, it's 180. And then you can do the skewer test. Toop, in, out. Can you cut me a little slice there, I can, dude? but let me just extra cautionary measures. Let me go for another spray here, G. Thank while you, While I serve you up something that I made earlier on the show today, just to show everybody <laughs> at home how easy right this now, was. Right now, your girl is like, Rao, where's the banana bread? <laughs> I thought you made now, me banana bread. You guys bread. at home, I don't know how good the sound is, but I want you to hear this. I'm going to put my mic up close. I love when I get that little crisp on the outside <laughs> of my mm. banana bread and that moist inside. Let's see if you can hear this. Oh, oh beautiful, crispiness. beautiful. You know what is up, G, my friend. Thank you so much. Oh, ooh, it, looks, loaf. it looks dense, yes, it looks moist, it yeah. looks beautiful. Oh, man. Tell them oh, what you think of that, man. Mmm, that is lovely. Is it a yes? Is it a yes? Mmm, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <sighs> the cinnamon notes in there. Yeah, man. Never use cinnamon and <laughs> banana loaf, but that's, we did that it. is gorgeous. We did gorgeous. it. With no essential mm. pantry ingredients, head over to expressoshow.com for this recipe inspiration. And G and I are going to get our banana loaf on. We'll see you Baby, <laughs> I need some more banana loaf. <laughs>